Hi, this is John Sales for Trailers from Hell, and I'm inviting you to visit The Naked City, a seminal 1948 police procedural directed by Jules Dassin and co-written by Albert Maltz, both who would be blacklisted in a couple of years. The look and style of the film is based on a photo book by legendary New Yorker Ouija, a photographer famous for showing up at crime scenes before the cops did, shooting at night with a flashbulb. This is definitely not a picture that I think would have worked in color. Behind the naked walls of this city, New York City, there are eight million stories. This is one of them. Half melodrama, half documentary with drippy domestic scenes balanced by good photography and wonderful location shooting in New York City. Shooting during a really, really hot summer, back in the era when lawmen had to chase the perpetrators wearing 50 pounds of gabardine. The movie paints a telling picture of Manhattan's social strata without anybody really commenting on it and is a terrific depiction of the shoe leather involved in urban police work back then. I wonder if it was an influence on Akira Kurosawa's stray dog made a year later. The theatrical elements are provided by Barry Fitzgerald as a wise old detective and by Howard Duff as a sleazy gigolo type. I never trusted that guy, even if he was married to Ida Lupino. You can also catch Nehemiah Persoff, John Randolph, and even Paul Ford basically doing extra work. Brooklyn native Ted DeCorsia makes a great pro wrestler turned contract killer. Living in a crummy apartment, I think I rented later on. He made his debut as a movie thug in Orson Welles' Lady from Shanghai. The producer, Mark Hellinger, had been a Walter Winchell-style Broadway chronicler in the 20s and serves as the narrator. He produced movies like High Sierra, They Drive by Night, The Killers, but had a congenital heart condition and died on Christmas Eve during post-production. The movie later became a half-hour and then a full-hour TV series that always ended with the same tagline. But even in 1948, if there's only eight million stories in the naked city, you're either not counting the outer boroughs or there's a lot of New Yorkers who don't have stories.